welcome back to the channel you can definitely tell that i woke up at 4am today look at these bags under my eyes i literally just went to duty free and got a new under eye concealer just to help brighten the outfit i'm currently in the british airways lounge i am normally an economy girly so i've never actually been in this lounge before but i've got myself a coffee i thought i would show you the whole flight journey from london heathrow airport terminal 3 over to Haneda airport in tokyo via japan airlines it's going to be a 14 hour a flight and today we're flying premium economy and it's actually my first time flying a premium economy with japan airlines so i wanted to show you the full experience what to expect and what the journey is like what the plane food is like so i'm excited but i just need to wake up with some coffee first so cheers <laughs> And I'm currently sitting at 19A as my seat. I'm not gonna let this because I'm not close to any already sitting down. It is so much more spacious and there's so much leg room that I can barely even actually reach the footrest. I have to like lean back to go on it. This is the footrest, so I can actually barely reach. You have to like properly stretch back down, but this is just showing you how much room there is. I am five foot three, so it's not gonna it's gonna make a huge difference for me because I can reach it anyway. But I think if you are tall, like five foot ten and above this would make such a huge difference this is what i am looking at right now they have a row of three seats here free which i'm eyeing up but actually i have got enough space here so this is the screen you've got the option of japanese english simplified chinese traditional chinese and korean let's click traditional chinese This is everything I ate on my 15 hour flight from London to Tokyo via Japan Airlines. For mains, I chose the stir fry pork with ponzu flavour and steamed rice. Very flavourful, pleasantly surprised. For size, I had the savour noodles, which were my absolute favourite. Seasoned bean sprouts and carrot salad, delicious. And a forgettable ham of food city salad, slice salad, and snacks. Popped open a glass of champagne, why not? And had vanilla ice cream for dessert. And lots of Japanese green tea, of course. After editing in a quick nap, I wanted some instant noodles. This was more of a snack, and I washed it down with some plum wine. This lemon cheesecake pancake was so good, so soft, and not too sweet. These potatoes that's were a bit too salty for me but fun. Finally for breakfast I had some ankake meatballs and some unseasoned egg fried rice with a yogurt and fruit. Good morning my love, it's currently 10.30pm back in London but the sun is just rising over here and it's so beautiful that I feel like energised again even though I look and feel very tired. I slept for maybe like two hours. On this flight they've basically just fed us so much, they've given us so much food that I just feel completely now I'm ready to land in Tokyo. Hello my last welcome to Tokyo. I have just gone past customs and out of the past two years of traveling over the pandemic, I would say this time through customs is the most strict and also you just feel very, very safe because I just wanted to check this QR code uh, multiple times. Basically you have to fill out the Visit Japan Pass before you come here. Make sure it's all approved and then once it is, then you get a QR code of a little yellow label and you just show that to everybody. It's also fingerprints as well. Now I need to go over and get a plasma card to go on the subway. That only accepts Japanese yen, so you can either get it from the ATM here or through a currency exchange, which are dotted around this airport. And I've also accessed my eSIM as well, which is the first time I've done it. I've done it on an app. Basically, I activated it in London, and now um, as soon as I've stepped foot into Japan, I used it as my secondary line, so now I can just access my data. You can top up on the go, so it's a lot easier. But anyway, I'm gonna go get the card now, and then let's get into the hotel and freshen up a bit, baby. <laughs> It's so good to be back. You can also get a prepaid SIM card via vending machine here as well. So 2,800 yen for 30 days, 1.5 gig. But I would need like 10 gig. Okay, so we've got three gig here, 4,300 yen. Hey. for check-in but I'm just seeing here that if amenities are not provided so please bring your own for your own use so you've got toothbrush here a little hairbrush cotton set washing powder and then you can just pick it up rather than ask or if you need razors you can ask that as well <laughs> Thank you.
left my bag at the hotel because it's not ready to check in yet and now I'm heading over to this place that I've wanted to eat at for ages. It opens at 11am but I reckon queue's going to start from now so now it's about 10.20ish so by the time I walk over there I think it's going to be about like 10.40 so hopefully can get one of the first sittings but I don't mind queuing anyway and maybe get like a coffee but it feels so good to be back. It's very quiet because it's still very early and we're around the Ginza area but on the outskirts of it and I just walked past a few vending machines and I can't wait to go and get the hot coffee. I really like the attention to detail that even a little hat was drawn on this sign. queuing here for over an hour now and I've got to the point where they offer you free hot tea in the queue. It's piping hot in the same thing and they've got these little paper cups. It is pouring it down. <laughs> And I can smell the soup and the broth and people keep kind of trickling out but I feel like this is going to be extra tasty because I've queued for so bloody long and it's going to be memorable for sure. I'm so hungry! <laughs> This is the best meal I had in Tokyo. I queued one and a half hours for the seafood rice bowl from Suji Han. It was so worth it. As you sat down, you have tea, miso, and sea brim sashimi ready for you. And then it's time for the main event, a towering bowl of sashimi. Literally a mountain of it. Fatty tuna, ikura, salmon roe, uni, sea urchin, shrimp, clam, squid, herring roe, cucumber, leek, and rice. It's fresh, rich, creamy, delicious. Once you're halfway through, put the bowl on the counter and it'll be topped up with sea bream broth. Your very own ochazuke. Fix in your remaining sashimi and enjoy this bonus second dish. <laughs> Currently at Tokyo Station and I've just purchased the JR Rail Pass at a premium. Oh, hello. Last time I was in Tokyo, me and Hannah, Hannah being super organized, <laughs> had already booked our JR Rail Pass and the exchange voucher about like, two months in advance or something. So by the time we came here, we had the voucher, we exchanged our tickets and then we reserved our seats. But this time, because it's a last minute book to Tokyo, I left it a bit too late to book the JR Rail Pass, but you can now buy it in Japan. I think it's been extended till March this year, but it is at a 12% premium. So you come over to either Tokyo Station or Shinjuku and then you find find the agency and you can buy it there and you can reserve all of your tickets, bring a passport with you and then sign. Thank you for your pass. Oh my god, oh my gosh, just found a Shinchan shop. Look! Look, he's here. I love him. They have this section here where they just have a bunch of Shinchan tote bags and little plushies up there. I bloody love Shin Chan, I actually grew up watching him. This is him, applying some lipstick. Love to see it. This is him as an astronaut. This is his little sister. And there's loads of Shin Chan socks here, I love him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I love that they have stores dedicated to the characters. There's little pizza slice. Get, get the little corn. Oh, what's this, a little burrito. Oh 
I ended up crashing and having a little two hour power nap and the longer shower. Oh my gosh, that water shower is so good. And also having soft water <laughs> makes such a difference compared to London's hard water. My hair feels so soft. It's amazing. But anyway, I'm now very, very peckish. So I'm gonna go to a local little restaurant, six minute walk away. It's gonna be a lot of seafood and ramen and it's a Kai's and Horizon over the next 10 days. But today, because we've done you know, quite a lot and I've got an early start tomorrow I decided just to go to a nice little local place see what it's like it's really highly rated on Google as well um, and it's got a mix of like small plates sashimi um, and little like small snap keepers <laughs> I've just ordered some sake and it's a very generous pour and it's also a big bottle as well. Obviously I don't think this whole bottle is for me but it's a heavy bottle. Whoa, wow. It's got like a very, very sweetness to it. Medium body, a little bit of spice. I don't know if I'm describing that right but it's tasty. Just been served some sesame tofu. Mmm, it's like salted. Now I have some vegetables on the side, so we have like a root vegetable, maybe like a sweet potato or taro or something, some greens, a little cherry tomato and some aubergine. Very cute presentation. last fish dish was huge it was a gigantic fish head so big and it was just so wet so it's like super super smooth oh and i had the fish eyes as well it was delish and it was like stewed so it's full of flavor but the meat itself wasn't dry and i'm not so full the staff was so lovely and the chef came out and they all greeted me afterwards and it was just absolutely delicious and it's such a great little spot and the the staff there are just, just so attentive and just wanted to make sure everything's okay oh let's just actually quickly stop off at the supermarket and then i'll talk to you a little bit 